Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into my personal top 5 games of February, all created using the amazing Phaser game engine. These are the titles that have really impressed me, showcasing the power of Phaser. Let's jump right in. Number 5 on my list is Magical Cat Rescue. Look at these adorable cats. Seriously, this game is just pure, wholesome fun. It's a puzzle game and the puzzles are genuinely engaging. They start simple but get more challenging as you go. It's perfect for a quick brain teaser. And of course, the main goal is to rescue these little guys. The feeling of when you finally get them, so rewarding. It's got a really charming art style and it runs great on Android. Honestly, if you love puzzles and cute cats, this is a must try. It's a fun, relaxing experience and it's free. Magical Cat Rescue is a great little puzzle game and that's why it's made it my top five. Coming in at number four, we have Brew Perfects. This game is just strangely addictive. You're basically trying to catch the right ingredients for the perfect cup of coffee. Coffee beans, water, all that good stuff. But you've also got to dodge the bad stuff, like acid and sediment, you know, the things that ruin a good brew. It's a simple concept, but it gets pretty intense as the game speeds up. And you can unlock these cool power-ups like filters and flavor enhancers to help you along the way. It adds a nice layer of strategy. Honestly, I've lost track how many times I've played this. It's a perfect quick game when you have a few minutes to spare. And the art style is really charming. It's just fun, a simple arcade game with a unique coffee theme. If you're looking for something casual and a little bit different, Brew Perfect is definitely worth checking out. Number three on my list is Shelter from Storm. This game is just atmospheric. You're stuck in a creepy, abandoned house during a storm, and you have to solve puzzles to escape. The puzzles are really well done, they're not overly complicated, but they make you think, and I love the retro pixel art style. It really adds to a whole spooky vibe. It's a point-and-click adventure, so you're exploring the house, finding clues, and figuring out what to do. What I really appreciate that it respects your time. You can play through this whole thing in about 30 minutes. The atmosphere is the best part. It's got this eerie feeling, but there are also some funny moments sprinkled in. It's a great balance if you're a fan of classic adventure games or just want a quick, creepy experience. You need to check out Shoah from the Storm. It's free on Steam and itch.io, and it's definitely worth your time. And hey, if you like it, consider grabbing the DLC. And now, for number two, we have Merge Wild. This game is just pure, relaxing fun. You basically merge three of the same items, creating buildings. It's super satisfying when you see them transform, and these little fairies help you build. They're adorable, and you can even merge them to make them more efficient. What I really like is the strategy involved. You have to decide which buildings to merge and when to submit them for awards. It's not just mindless merging. And these rainbow flasks act as wild cards, which is super helpful when you're trying to complete a merge. The graphics are bright and colorful, and the gameplay is really intuitive. It's perfect to wind it down after a long day. Honestly, I've spent way too much time merging things in this game. It's just so addictive. If you're looking for a casual puzzle game with a charming fantasy theme, Merge World is a must try. It's fun, relaxing, and surprisingly strategic. Before we get to my number one pick, I want to give a shout out to all the amazing Phaser developers out there. We're always on the lookout for new and exciting games to feature on the channel. If you're a developer and you've created a Phaser game you'd like for us to check out, please send us a link. You can email us at games at phaser.io or simply leave a comment on the video. We can't wait to see what you're working on. And finally, my number one game is... The Legend of Free Heroes. This one's a bit of a wild card because it's only available in Chinese. But even without understanding the language, I'm completely blown away. The combat is incredible. You can use swords, spears, bows, fists, and there's even an internal cultivation to boost your stats. You can explore hundreds of cities and landmarks across ancient China. You can even trade and build your own economic empire. Invest in ports, upgrade ships, it's so much more than just a fighting game. And get this, there's even a mini game to learn, Tang Dynasty Poetry. How cool is that? Honestly, even though I can't understand the text, the visuals and gameplay are so immersive. I've been watching videos and screenshots and I'm just fascinated. It's clear that a ton of passion and detail went into this game. The Legend of Free Heroes is a testament to how gaming can transcend language barriers. It's a truly impressive experience and that's why it's my number one. I really hope they release an English version someday because I'd love to fully dive into this world. So, there you have it, my top 5 phase of games of February 2025. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.